Okay, hello, I'm Chris, and welcome to Static Reflection on the Budget with C++ 2x, a talk which shouldn't exist in C++ 23. Uh, sorry, in 2023. But it does, so uh, let's see what we can do with C++ uh, in order to get some reflection possible. So first thing we can do is to tuple. So when we have a struct and we want to get it to tuple, uh, we can do that with C++ 14 plus, basically. Uh, this is one way of doing that. There are a lot of ways of achieving the same goal. But the idea is that we use the structure bindings and requires clause to get the uh, struct into the tuple. Uh, and this way, we can get the full uh, struct into the tuple. So that's pretty handy for the reflection. Uh, nothing really new yet. The other thing which you can do, which is kind of uh, interesting, is the fact with the uh, embed, we can actually embed itself, which is the file which we actually are in, and then we can reflect on it, meaning ask <laughs> about, <laughs> yeah, it's like, this is a, it's really meta-reflect meta stuff. So we can ask about whether we have the foo, whether we have the bar, whether we have the function. So yeah, as I pointed out, reflection on the budget. So yeah, that's one way of doing it. Uh, moving forward, we can do even more scary things. So imagine that we have a struct foo with A and B, and we would like to create that uh, uh, struct with the uh, string, uh, compile time string name. So that can be also achieved with uh, a bit of magic. So all the magic is in this refl expert uh, keyword. Uh, anyone has an idea what is that doing? State, stateful metaprogramming, exactly. <laughs> so when we have the foo, we actually register in the you know, friend injection uh, magic uh, a foo, and then we have the name because we had type name and pretty function, and we can get the name out of it. And in the end, we can ask the foo of T with that name. So as I pointed out again on the, on the budget. Uh, another thing we can do with that, uh, if you go a bit forward, we have a foo uh, with the struct bar. And right now we do the reflection uh, in order to get that. But when we can do the meta find, so that is using the same trick as before with the meta contains, where we embed ourselves in the file. So uh, as you can see here, we, we try to find how many structs we have. We have one struct, which is called foo. We get it, and we can get this type of of it by getting this lambda with the struct of the uh, index zero, which is the foo which has been found by the meta find, which is the embed of ourselves in the string view. And then we have a reflex uh, because it was used at some point, so we have the type. So in that case, we can create that struct out of the string which we found in the, uh, in the file. So yeah. Awesome stuff. And the last thing which I wanted to show is that with clank 15, uh, we actually can have the, you know, the missing part of all the reflection is the fact that we cannot get the names easily. We have to put the name in the type in order to get that. So uh, with the built uh, dump struct, which is with C++ clank 15 uh, available with the com compile time, uh, uh, context, we can get the integer and the string from the foo, which is the name, which is the missing part from the reflection which you couldn't get. So here we have the tuple, which we get from the foo, and notice here we have integer and the string, a, a, B, a, B, C, and 42. We destructure that guy, and then uh, we can, uh, uh, you know, get the, this tuple is actually different than the tuple I shown before. If you open the gold bolt, it'll be a different one, which is leveraging the build abstract at compile time to get the names. So after that, we have the name, which is the integer, uh, integer and the string. So uh, why well, are we talking about it? Because all of those tricks would be great if you don't have to do them at all, and we would have that in the, in the standard. So thank you. <laughs>